Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get unlinked to your Fire Stick as well as the best codes to use inside that app so you could jailbreak your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get unlinked to your device. First of all, you have to get an app code downloader to your Fire Stick. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll need to go to search on our device. There it is. Click on that button with the gear icon. Then click on the search bar and start entering the loader in the search. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll go to settings, let's do it. Click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down until you see My Far TV. Open it. Here, we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, open it, from here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is a top and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, Let's say we'll connect to France right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So go back to the list of apps on your device, find the loader, let's open it up and wait until it loads. Here it's really important that on the left side menu, you click on home and not on browser. So once again, you have to click on home and here in that search bar, we are going to enter a link, which is going to be unlinked.link. That's the official website of unlinked app store. So let's do it. So it's unlinked.link link. You can see the exact link on your screen right now. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make any mistake, your link is not going to work properly and the website is not going to open. Then you have to click on go and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel for more content on fire sticks. And of course, hit the like button if this video was helpful. It's going to help me a lot and I will create even more content for you. So when the website is opened, we have to scroll down a bit until we see that big download APK Android button. So we click on that and wait until download starts. 
usually doesn't take long, as you can see in my case that was super fast, then you have to click on install and wait until unlinked gets installed to your Fire Stick. After that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we are able to delete the installation file, which we don't really need anymore on our device. This way you will save some free storage on your Fire Stick and that's important because, well, you don't really have too much of free space on your device anyway, so it's really important not to clog it with unnecessary files. Click on delete right here and delete once again. So now, once again, we'll have to go to settings. So once again, click on that gear button, scroll down, go to my Fire TV. As previously, go to developer options, install unknown apps and turn that option on for unlinked now. It's a must if we want to use it to install other applications from the internet. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on our device. There it is, open it, scroll down, and here at the bottom you'll find Unlinked. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the bottom of three horizontal lines. You click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Unlinked is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Once again, use the link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get 3 months of NordVPN for free. Then finally, let's open Unlinked. And now when we open Unlinked, it's time to enter our first code of the day. So basically, what you have to do is click on the Add a new library. And here we'll be entering our codes. So the first code is pretty simple, you just need to enter a word everything. Yep, just enter everything. Just like that, you can see the code on your screen right now, so you just enter everything and click on next. And now a store should open for us. Yep, click on enter. Here I had to blur out my screen because YouTube does not allow me to show you the exact applications available in the stores, but in your case, of course, it's not going to blurry. But still, I can describe you what kind of apps you are going to find inside that store. So first of all, you'll find some IPTV channels, movies and TV shows applications, then there are going to be some adult apps, of course, a couple of app stores, so you could jailbreak your Fire Stick even further, code-related apps, live TV applications, IPTV players, then a lot of different movie applications, all kinds of them, and the majority of them are really decent. Then a section for recommended apps, utilities or tools such as web browsers, file commanders, virus total, and so on. And pretty much that's it for the first store of the day. And now let's go to the following code. So we gotta click on back button. So we gotta go back to the home screen and click on the add a new library again. So click on it and start entering a second code, which is going to be Fire Stick. Yep, Fire Stick as a word. So we enter it as a Fire Stick and click on Next. That's probably my favorite code of today. They got a lot of different applications here and almost all of them are updated and working fine. As previously, I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the apps, but I will still describe them. So first of all, you will see some free applications which can either be downloaded from the official Amazon App Store, such as Zuma Play, Crackle, and so on, or from here. Then some apps for grown-ups, Forestic tools, code-related applications, then a lot of different live TV apps which you can use to watch live TV channels, as well as sports. Then of course, media or IPTV players when where you can upload your own MVU code or extreme code to watch IPTV. If we scroll down, you'll find a lot of different movie and TV shows. There's a lot of them, around 20, I think. And of course, a dedicated sports app so you could watch sports for free. So that was the second code of today. And let me show you a couple more codes. So let's open the keyboard. And the next code is going to be 67664553. Seven. So once again, it's 67664537, and then we click on Next and wait until the library opens up for us. So this library is mostly dedicated to streaming applications, so there are all kinds of movie apps, live TV apps, TV show applications, all kinds like that. Also some anime apps, cartoons, VPN applications, alternative app stores, 
adult content streaming apps, some web browsers, music streaming applications, live sports applications, and then again plenty of apps for kids. So all in all that's a pretty decent app, not as big as the previous two, but still you can check it out. And now finally let me show you the last code of today. So go back and the code is going to be e b 2 e 4 a 4 c. So once again the code is e b 2 e 4 a 4 c. We click on next and wait until it loads. Here you'll find apps to watch documentary movies, web browser applications, of course movie and TV shows apps, live TV applications for your Fire Stick, some music apps, tools or utility apps, there's actually a lot of different utility applications, probably more than in the previous app stores, and there are all kinds of different utility apps, starting with Firestotal, other alternative app stores, different launchers, task killers, and so on. And then there are also some VPN applications. So today you learned about four best codes for Unlinked. Hope you enjoyed the video and of course hit the like button if you did. See you next time. Bye bye.